Hello YouTube friends, it's Megan here with AM Soaps and today I am making my apple cider soap. I'm working on my holiday soaps. I have just a bit over a month before my first Christmas craft show so I want to have these cured and packaged for that time so I better get them made. I'm making apple cider and my fragrance is actually apple pie. Yes, this is a lovely apple, uh, apple cinnamon smelling fragrance. I made this last year with this fragrance and it was very popular. So I'm going to use the exact same fragrance again. My colors are going to be a bit of a yellow orange. Like I want a vein of, um, of a light apple, a, a light yellow orange in the pot swirl and a little bit of the soap with cinnamon and some of the batter with no fragrance. So in case the fragrance turns a touch brown or beige, I'll have some that has no fragrance in it in case the batter discolors. So this is actually going to be pretty simple. So I'm going to make the, mix up the batter with my stick blender, split it in four parts, add fragrance and colors and cinnamon, and do an in-the-pot swirl and just pour it right in. So let's get started with that. First, we need our safety glasses. Put on my safety glasses, and then I'm going to go get my lye. So here's my lye and my oils, and let's check the temperature. My lye is 89. My oils are 82. I'm not, not going to take too long after I blend this before I pour it in the mold. So I should have my pots ready here for mixing. And my heart in this soap is going to be green and a bit of orange for my accent heart. And no embellishments on the top, just piping. So let's add the lye. Now this year I have signed up for four Christmas craft shows. They're all in November. So when December comes, I am finished. I'm going to take a break. I think in December the only videos you'll see from me will be artwork videos. I have inventories. If you want anything, message me. People who live about 100 kilometers away from me get free delivery. And I have debit at the door. I tell people to think of me as the pizza person, but I'm the soap person. I'll bring, I'll bring you some soap. Okay, this is going to be the portion with no fragrance. And this is going to be the portion that is orange, a very, very light yellow orange. And this is the portion that has the cinnamon. Just mix it in. It's just a slight vein of cinnamon. Not too much. Cinnamon can be irritating. All right. Let's add the fragrance. Have uh, very, very, very little bit of orange just to touch here, and a little bit of yellow canary. Yellow canary turns orange in the soap batter, but then yellow the next day. So, what we see here won't be the color, it will be tomorrow. So, here's my main batter, it's still fluid, so this is good for an end pot swirl. I'm going to pour my batter with no fragrance in along the sides, bit in the middle, my light orange yellow batter along the sides. I want wispy swirls so I think this is a good consistency for that. In the middle and the one with cinnamon in it. Same thing. Start with the middle 
along the sides. Ooh, that is starting to thicken. Put it in there. And this will bit mix as it pours. I'm not going to mix it now. On the side here. And let it mix and blend as it pours. Hello friends, I am back now to cut my apple cider soap. This is what it looks like. It smells yummy. It's apple pie fragrance, but I just like to call it apple cider because so much of the stuff I have has a drink theme, so I thought I would just stick with that theme. Well, here it is with the green hearts and some different swirls in there. Not too complex, just pretty and it smells good. This weekend I have a craft show. So I thought that I'll post this video this week. This is uh, the Thanksgiving, Canadian Thanksgiving weekend. I'll post this video and I'll show you some footage of the craft show. So if you, sh if you stick around after the end of the video, then I'll just have a bit of the craft show. So if you're not interested, you don't need to stick around. If you are interested, you should check it out. So I hope that you enjoyed watching me make my apple cider soap. And I hope that you have a good rest of the day today. And take good care of yourself for the rest of the day. And take care of the people around you. We all need each other to look out for one another. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, everyone. Here's my booth at the craft show. I have up here my bubbling bath bombs. And down here I have bath bombs. I've got pumpkin spice. And these duckies aren't actually in the bomb. They're sat on top. I, I tried to embed them. It didn't really work. But they're still cute. And they sold out, actually. And down here I have gummy bears, emoji poos. The eyeballs are sugar. They're the eyeballs you put on cupcakes. And those are my sugar scrubs down there. Bar soaps here. I always put a sample down for smelling. My, my solid shampoo. Soap dishes. And here I put in a new section of uh, the bakery. Bakery looking soaps. I've got cakes and donuts and cupcakes. Sudsy bakery items, I called them just so people know they're not food. I have my foot butters, uh, lip balms, solid lotion. I put together these gift packs here. It's an idea for people to buy gift off the shelf. My soap saver baggies. I have a video about how you make these actually, if you're interested. Washcloths. And these are my caddies. I have a video about how to make, how I painted this kind of caddy. You don't see the one I painted because it sold immediately. It's It was sold actually before the show started. <laughs> Another vendor bought it. So here's my other caddies up there. Those are upcycled from a condiment caddy. So my idea is that you buy this to carry around your bath stuff, especially if you share a bathroom with someone. I hope you enjoyed that, and I'll see you later.